No, thyself, an African proverb. I thought I knew myself. I thought I had an understanding of who I was and where my roots came from. I was a typical American girl who had some very strange Portuguese traditions about every month. It never hit me how different these traditions were until freshman year of college. The week before Easter, my aunt makes Portuguese donuts and all 50 members of my mom's side gather for a huge celebration. When I share this money with my new friends at school, I got some weird looks. Am I seriously the only one who makes donuts? Suddenly, my Portuguese culture was very important to me. My mom was born there, she was the youngest of nine, and I never knew the hardships and the tough times that her family faced while living on a small island called Graciosa. I never knew that she lost two siblings due to malnutrition and disease, and I never knew that after almost 40 years, none of her siblings except for her had been back to their home. How is that possible to pick up your whole life and just move to a completely new culture and country with little money and little work experience? August of 2014, we all went back. Two of my mom's brothers, two of her sisters, herself, and three of their children, including me, all went back to the motherland. I had been to Portugal when I was seven. My mom took my dad and my brother and I. But for some reason, the island looked a hundred times more beautiful this time. There was such an appreciation of life on the island. Everybody was a friend, and everyone was related in some way. Everyone was so happy to see us. We were treated like royalty. Everyone wanted to feed us and dance with us and know everything that we've been up to. So many feasts, so many laughs, and so many memories. It was unreal to see the looks on my family's faces when they saw their old house. They still remembered how to get there and no directions were needed. No maps, nothing. They remember where they used to play, where their old babysitter's house was, and that lady who yelled at them for being loud that one time, as if nothing had ever changed. We had the chance to see some very important Portuguese traditions. For example, the bullfights. Instead of the stereotypical matador bullfighting in Spain, these men would sit on the street and run away screaming the minute the bull was near them. It was kind of a letdown, but it was still cool nonetheless. <laughs> or when we went donkey riding. I never knew that my aunts and uncles, let alone my own mother, knew how to ride a donkey. It was such an awesome experience and they definitely showed us up with all their skills. We also got to take part in the Festival of Guadalupe and march all along the streets that my family grew up on. 15 miles on the heels that I was wearing wasn't the best idea, but my aunts and uncles were on cloud nine walking in that procession. My mom and her siblings all agreed that it was probably one of the best trips of their life and to share it with their kids made it all the better. Who knows what would be it if we never went on this trip. We would have no idea about the whole other life that we have in this other country. That even when you feel alone, that there are truly people who care and would do anything for you just across the Atlantic. Although they aren't close physically, they're close forever in our hearts and in the memories. Culture is important. It's who you are. I decided to make Portuguese my minor as I wish to be able to converse with people who are like me. I want to fully embrace my heritage in any way possible. This generation has a tendency to not care about where they come from and who they are. Culture is important to be passed down. A person without the knowledge of their history, origin, and culture is like a tree without roots. <laughs>